Hello friends, welcome to today's video where we're going to be going through all the details of the brand new Scarlet and Violet Pokemon trailer that is literally just dropped as of recording this video on the 1st of June. So hopefully we get some brand new information. We're going to go through everything in the videos that's shown and then look at the official Scarlet and Violet website to check out all the new details of this brand new trailer. It's a little bit unfortunate that I couldn't watch this live, but here we go. Hopefully it's a good one. Okay, here we go. Starting off in our room in the new region. Now I hope we get the, the new region name announced. There we go. The grapes and the oranges. Scarlet and Violet. I do love the logos. They are nice. Ooh, who's this? New professors. Professor Seda. Churo. And there's all our starters. Spritzy, Quaxly, Via Coco. Okay. What is that? What is that? What was that brand new Pokemon, folks? I'm sure we'll find out all about it. Is that an electric type? Power of science is amazing. If you connect with friends, you can head out. Okay, what's this then? like indicating that you can kind of play together okay fletchling flaffy what is this <laughs> what is this new pokemon okay we're getting some goodies today brandy another brand new pokemon that catch animation is clean what is that thing <laughs> new pig pokemon okay Tutel. Is that a different color to what Tutel normally is? Like hinting a regional variant? I could be wrong. I don't know. Just in my head, Tutel looks a bit different. What's this indicating that we can trade from like anywhere then? And then we've got Colossal, Toxpex, Ryognol, and then the Gengar, Lorantis. Okay. So some cool Pokemon kind of confirmed. Okay few clips of what probably are like gyms or kind of stadium looking things as well okay are we gonna get the mechanic the new gimmick or not not actual game footage so it's got to be the box art got to be the box what is this thing what are these got to be the legendaries These things look badass. These things look really cool. 100% like, you've got to say, dragons confirmed for the two new legendaries. They are the box art legendaries as well. Very cool. They look awesome. Let's let, be honest. Like, they both look pretty awesome. And, okay, you can pre-order now. Friday the 18th of November. We're going to get something else. What is this? Okay, friends, that is that. We can now hop over to the official Pokemon Scarlet and Violet website. It will be linked down in the description below if you want to check this website out for yourself. You've got the trailer up here as well, and you can. There's a pre-order button behind my camera. If you can, uh, if you can see that, you can actually pre-order the game right now. So arriving on confirmed November the 18th, 2022. Not that long away. Very cool. Box arts look pretty nice um, and we've got a bunch of new information to kind of go over as well new pokemon to discover so let's check this out first uh we'll learn more about the new pokemon we obviously know about the the start of pokemon already we got uh Sprigatito, we got fiacoco and we got quaxley i don't know if there's any other new information in here that we don't already know we've got a grass type uh overgrow its ability um and then obviously for your coco going to be the fire type of the three uh with the blaze ability it's kind of standard kind of starter pokemon stuff uh torrent and water duckling pokemon so yeah nothing really new there for the starter pokemon then we've got the legendaries look at these look at these legendaries i absolutely adore the look of these legendary pokemon they look incredible like I don't know, like, if it's, like, I don't know what anyone's thinking right now, but my opinion on them, 
I think they look great. I honestly do. They look really cool. Um, and kind of go with the themes of the game. It's kind of like a, a you've got kind of like a cockerel sort of dragon kind of thing going on with the what's it even called? Coriodon, I think, and Myriadon. I have no idea if we're pronouncing these right. Um, but you've got more of a I don't know, like a bull sort of theme going on with the the Myriadon. Uh, with its horns up there and kind of more of a serpent look and then like i'd say like a cockerel for the the choreodon i don't know though we'll find out i'm sure uh we can click into these and take a bit of a, a deeper dive into them and see if there's any other information choreodon and Mirrodon and grace the covers of pokemon scarlet and violet uh respectively choreodon is a legendary pokemon you can meet in pokemon scarlet and Mirrodon is uh, a legendary pokemon you can meet in Pokemon Violet. These two Pokemon are said to have powers that far surpass those of other Pokemon, but details about Coriodon and Mirrodon are still shrouded in mystery. So, not any other information just at the moment, but very cool looking Pokemon nonetheless. I don't know which game I want to get. Probably both of them, just so I can get both of them, to be honest. And then we've got the new Pokemon that were revealed in the trailer. Uh, we got Poor Me. Okay, this thing's Poor Me. We did say an electric type, so it is an electric type. Uh, its abilities are Static or Natural Cure. Poor Me is one of the Pokemon used by Nimona, your friend. And uh, guessing one of the new characters that we saw in the in the trailer. Electricity discharging organs on its forepaws. In addition to the electric sacs in its cheeks, Pormi has electricity discharging organs on its forepaws. It generates electricity by rubbing its cheeks, then shocks its opponents by touching them with its pads on its forepaws. Okay. Uh, thick fur that stores electricity. Not only is the fur that covers its body good insulation against the cold, but it also serves the purpose of storing electricity. When it feels uneasy, this cautious Pokemon will begin rubbing its cheeks, preparing itself to discharge an electric shock. It's a cool looking little Pokemon. It's kind of obviously like the the, the electric rodent of the of the series, of the generation. Uh, so it'll be a kind of Pikachu of Scarlet and Violet, I guess. Uh, so there's poor me. Be interesting to see what its evolution is, if it does get one. And then you've got Le Lechnok or Lechnok, Lechnok, the pig, the pig Pokemon. It's kind of cute. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, not going to lie. It's kind of cute. Uh, it is a, a normal type hog Pokemon. Uh, Aroma Veil or Gluttony are its abilities. Pretty fitting, really. Uh, Lechnok is one of the Pokemon used by Neoma, uh, your friend. Uh, so they're all kind of her Pokemon, I'm guessing. Uh, a Gormand with an excellent nose. Legnok uses its senses to smell, to find and eat only the most fragrant wild grasses and the richest berries. As a result of its dining habits, it has become too radiant an aura, resembling herbs that bug Pokemon dislike. Okay, timid and faint-hearted, but also strong. If attacked by an opponent and startled, it will charge forward in a panic. It may appear fat at first glance, but in reality, the Pokemon's body is mostly muscle built by constantly walking around in the search of food. My type of Pokemon. It's a cool little Pokemon. It's a normal type. You can imagine it'll probably get an evolution into a big like kind of wild boar sort of thing with tusks or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but a very cool little Pokemon, especially in the early parts of the game. And then you've got uh, Smoliv, which is obviously re a representation of an olive as well. Uh, very reminiscent of the kind of Mediterranean uh, type of the world, you know. So uh, olive Pokemon, grass normal type. That's a cool typing. That's I don't know if we've had a grass and normal typing. Uh, very cool. Early bird, it's its ability. Uh, Smoliv is one of the Pokemon used by Neoma, your friend. So she pretty much uses all of these Pokemon. We'll find out who she is in a minute. Oil so bitter and astringent, it will make you flinch. The oil that comes out of its head has a very strong bitter taste and is not suitable for consumption. When startled or attacked, Smoliv will shoot out this oil. We'll shoot this oil out, slowing its opponent down. It will then seize that moment to run away. Fine, without eating or drinking. In the fruit on its head, Smoliv stores oil made from nutrients it gathers through photosynthesis. As a result, it can go for a week without eating or drinking. It prefers dry and sunny climates, and it seems to spend its days sunbathing. Again, Pokemon of my liking so yeah they're cool so they're the new pokemon that we got confirmed in this trailer uh, as i say you can go onto the the official scarlet and violet website and um 
get all the information yourself take a further deeper dive if you want uh, the world of pokemon uh, so we've got a bit more information here about the games uh, pokemon scarlet and violet offer an open world experience which we already know that only pokemon series can deliver one welcoming even to newcomers to the series you can experience a new style of adventure with a world that uh, you're free to explore at your leisure and not in order to dictate by the story which is kind of cool uh, you will of course journey to hone your skills as a pokemon trainer but many more discoveries and stories await you meet a variety of people and pokemon and adventures in a world of pokemon uh, the way you want which is really cool so it's it is more like an open open world sort of game you know where you're going to be able to kind of go out and just kind of play how you want do what you want and not have to stick to kind of that linear storyline that we've had in the past with previous generations it's going to be exciting to play it but it's a more it sounds a lot more like pokemon legends Arceus style of game anyway so be interesting to see how it turns out a deeper experience with multiplayer gameplay now this is kind of interesting because they touched on this in the trailer in particular Pokemon Scarlet and Violet allow multiplayer gameplay with up to four players. Along with series staples such as trading and battling, you will be able to explore the various locations of the region in these games with other players. Now that's very cool. So you can actually play along in your playthrough at the same time with other players. I'm presuming uh, nothing has been confirmed, confirmed yet. Although it kind of is here. But uh, that's really exciting that you can kind of play along in the open world with your friends as you're kind of progressing through the game uh, you can discover new pokemon and explore unfamiliar areas with your friends and family which is like i think what everyone wants you know that interactive kind of multiplayer thing that you can go online and play with friends make it a bit more like not a solo kind of run game you know uh, opening the door to an adventure more precious and fun than ever it sounds really cool i like the idea of this okay so we've got a few screenshots here um of I guess this is a Pokemon Center or a Pokemon. It looks like a, a, a garage or, you know, um, a, a petrol station or something. What we call petrol station or garage over here in the UK might be different to everywhere else in the world. But it looks like that where you go and fill up your car. Uh, that's what it looks like. I wonder if that'll be the kind of common trend of a Pokemon Center over there in Scarlet and Violet. Who knows? Um, but then you've got a bunch of, of screens with with uh, friends kind of playing together. So I'm guessing characters can kind of mingle online as you go through. And then the characters is the last section here. We've already met our protagonists, the uh, the main characters that we can choose through our playthrough. Uh, and now we can go down and see the two different professors. For the first time in the series, one of two different professors will appear in your game depending on the version that you choose to play. Okay, so we've got the first one is uh, Professor Seda and then you've got Professor Tudor as well. So two different professors, both. I mean, I don't know if they'll be much different, but we'll find out, I guess. Pokemon Scarlet, you will be you will meet Professor Seda, and in Pokemon Violet, you will meet Professor Turo. Uh, each carry out research into certain lore passed down in the region. Is there anything hinting in the back? Nothing really hinting in the back. I don't know. Uh, it need more time to look at it. Uh, and here's Nyoma, uh, a powerful Pokemon trainer, who is our friend who's using all, all the Pokemon, new Pokemon that we've seen already today. Uh, your friend Nyoma has a sunny and energetic disposition, and she absolutely loves Pokemon battles. She's an experienced Pokemon trainer and serves as a reliable guide for you on your adventures. Adventures. Uh, she has undisputed skill in battle, though it does also seem that she's not the best at throwing Pokeballs. Okay, so I wonder if that kind of indicates that, you know, we'll be going into Pokemon battles and we'll have to be able to kind of throw Pokeballs like you would. You'll target them like you would in Pokemon Legends Arceus to catch Pokemon. Things like that. It would kind of indicate that rather than you're just clicking an A button and then the Pokeball is thrown. That makes it a little more um, immersive and interesting. So just a couple of screenshots with her getting the Pokemon Center in the background. And there's, there's bits uh, like a castle or something there as well. So um, that is pretty much all the information that we've got today. Obviously, there'll be more information 
in the trailer that we've probably missed from today's episode. So I'm going to probably do a bit more of a concentrated watch of it and then we'll have a deeper dive, see if there's anything hidden in there that we can uh, uncover that gives us a few more hints going forward in the run up to these releases. Uh, very exciting though and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the trailers. Probably not what I was expecting today to be honest. I think I was expecting when looking back at Sword and Shield and when their kind of schedule release in the run up to those games was June the 6th in 2019 I believe was when they announced Dynamax so I was fully expecting to get the new gimmick or mechanic release today I'm guessing though that'll be saved for the world championships they do a big announcement in August at the world championships so I'd imagine that's probably when we'll get that information um but we've got a bunch of stuff confirmed today which is very exciting for these new games let me know down below uh what your thoughts are on the trailer what you're most looking forward to in scarlet and violet and uh what your overall thoughts are on these new legendary pokemon box arts i absolutely love them the games look fantastic like i say there's a bunch more stuff to look in depth at with these games but we'll do that in time and uh we'll cover everything as it drops on the channel thank you so much for tuning in friends taking the time to come by and check out this video hope you found it useful if you did miss the trailer or just a bit more interesting to have my take on uh my thoughts on everything from today it is a very quick one but we'll be back very soon with more scarlet and violet news when it drops so uh, thanks for tuning in friends take care of yourselves have a great rest of your day and i'll catch you in the next one